hello welcome to my bedroom floor if you're new here what's up if you've been here before what is good i tried to decorate the back a little bit hopefully it's not super tacky and it's actually kind of cute i went shopping on elf.com for cyber monday and i have not bought elf makeup in years i want to say years to be honest and i I like to say I was an OG fan of them because that's all I could afford. And, um, you know, in this current economy, it's currently what I can afford. So I made an eggnog coffee with eggnog, actual eggnog, and then also this eggnog syrup. Mm. Do you guys remember when Starbucks had their eggnog lattes? Because I bought way too many of those and now I feel like I can do it at home because, again, the economy girl, like... <laughs> let's get into it they had so much stuff that i had never seen before on their website some of this stuff is going to be gifts and some of it's just for me oh my god look also sorry if the lighting is kind of trash my all my memory cards are full okay girl i've been filming and not having time to edit and so i'm recording on my phone and the lighting in my room sometimes sucks ass so anyway first off i got this holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm um this i did i wanted to try this because currently i'm using the garnier to get residual makeup off but sometimes i feel like it's not thick enough and a balm sounds thicker it's kind of cool it comes with a little spatula so we'll see how that is should i look I kind of want to look. Let's look at it. Okay, you know how Lineage gives you like a little Entacha? They give you the little spatulas. I feel like the spatula just really makes all the difference. I don't know about you. Oh, cute. Wow, it's super lightweight. And I'm also such a sucker for anything that comes in like a jelly looking packaging. Oh, whoa. It's kind of giving Vicks. <laughs> Vapor rub. <laughs> doesn't smell like anything so that's good okay we'll see we'll see how this goes we will see i'm not really picky when it comes to skincare though i'm not gonna hold you all right next girl good thing this wasn't one of the things i'm giving away because wait what is this okay the box on this one girl she's a little crushed but that's fine because this one's for me anyway the box color is also interesting wait what Oh, this is deep. Okay. Anyway, okay, this is the Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner. And this is in the shade Deep Brown. Let's just get her out of this busted ass packaging anyway, because that's not giving. The, the color of the box is interesting. Okay, thank God the lip liner doesn't look like the color of the box. Should I swatch it? This video is going to take forever if I do this. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is like a caramel color, which I don't know how that's going to look on my skin. But as you can tell, it's darker than the box. We'll see. I feel like it doesn't look bad. I typically, when I wear browns, I like them to have a little more pinky or purpley hint to them. But we'll see how it goes. The same thing in the shade mauve. This is just what it looks like. Black little tube. And then the liner itself is like a little triangle okay mauve is looking like my girl swatches online are just hard man like it's hard to tell okay mauve this is mauve mauve and i we could get along should i try it on Ooh, that's going on nice actually mauve is kind of cool toned and then this brown is really warm toned a little mix of the two wouldn't hurt anybody kind of just like a basic makeup smell taste nothing bad though next it's like a box of goodies makeup roulette what are we gonna get next oh oh okay thank god this box isn't absolutely destroyed because this one is a gift this is the elf halo glow blush beauty wand blush in the shade pink me up cute the lighting 
isn't actually that bad in here like these colors on camera are looking legit how they look so yeah this is a blush for one of my friends hopefully she likes it this is like a highly rated product so a squeeze brush or a squeeze blush with a little sponge applicator okay elf you know what i mean like stepping up their game another blush this is the putty blush in the shade turks and caicos very appropriate because it's almost like a corally color she's so cute and this is for another friend who this is for a friend that has warmer undertones and coral blush looks really good on her and this is for a friend who has cooler undertones girl i used to cereal buy these <laughs> but this is just the clear brow and lash mascara so good for just setting the brows and quickness like does a job i got the hydrating camo concealer because i do not stray away from my fit me concealer by maybelline and so i feel like it's time to dabble and this is in the shade medium neutral they kind of help you by telling you what undertones each shade has and describing it but girl i mean it's hard to tell damn this is a huge ass applicator let's see how i did <gasps> might be a little too dark for me right this second because girl i haven't had sun in weeks but i will in the new year i think that's gonna match me like really good actually because mm -hmm. I, I get pretty dark um but i also get pretty white in the winter <laughs> This is a generous amount though for a concealer. I feel like they give you a lot. Back into the bag. Ooh, okay, yes. This one is for me, but I'm gonna share it with my grandma in Spain. And if she likes it, she can have it. I always give my abuelita anything that she tries that she likes, it's mine. I just give it to her. But this is another putty blush in the shade Bermuda. And it's more of this like mauve -y. It looks like it has a slight glitter to it, shine to it. I should have brought a tissue in here. I'm literally using, I ripped off part of the box of the makeup remover. I have the cleansing balm. Like I really just needed a tissue, but damn, the concealer doesn't want to come off. I guess that's a good sign, right? Another putty moment. <sighs> this is the matte putty primer. So I will get a little bit oily on like my forehead, these areas, my chin. And so I figured, let me try. I never use primer. I'm like bare bones when it comes to my makeup routine. Hopefully this stuff encourages me to do a little more. But yeah, I was thinking this is actually pretty big too, the size. But I was thinking maybe just putting it on the areas I get a little bit oily and testing it. I actually really really want to touch this so whoa you see that looks pretty white but it says that it's sheer mm, it looks a little white on my finger look at that interesting the fucking imbecile in me just wants to dig into it okay let's put it on my hand And it just smells like a pretty bland lotion. Okay. I think I actually see... It's not going to show up on camera. I think I actually can tell the difference. We'll see. We'll see about her. She's cute. This is so cute. With the little, like, handle. Oh, my God. And it has a little heart inside. Ew, don't look at my calluses. Anyway, so this is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Cherry Jovial. Or just cherry. Is Jovial cherry in a different language? So cute. I can't remember if this is for me or not, so I'm just going to put it to the side. If I got another one. Oh, I did get another one. Okay, yeah. Because this one does not look like a color that I would wear. This looks like definitely a color I picked out for my friend. This, though, looks like my color. This is the one in the shade Happy. Happy. Look at it. 
Oh, we have to try this one on. Uh, by the way, this stuff came insanely quick. It is Thursday, and I ordered this stuff on Cyber Monday. Oh my god, look at it. That is so cute. Okay. I'm gonna put it over this. I feel like it'll go good. Oh, this smells amazing. How does it look? So pretty. Oh my god. I like her. I like her a lot. I got this eyeliner pen in coffee just because I'm constantly on the hunt for a new brown eyeliner that I like. I like brown better than black because black sometimes is too much. It's like not forgiving at all if you fuck it up. And I consistently fuck it up, so there's that. Next, I got this Halo Glow highlight. Just like the blush, but it's a highlighter. They also had bronzers. And this is in the shade Champagne. Another one I just... I just actually cannot wait to put on. So we're just gonna... Wow, pretty. Probably should have redone my nails before this, but that's fine. Oh my god, okay. Do I just squeeze it? You can see it getting darker. Can you see it getting... There she is. Is that too much? I really could use a mirror right about now. Okay, boom. Cute. Cute. I always do a highlighter right here too. Kind of dispensed a lot. I'm not a highlighter on the chin, girl. I feel like maybe the sponge will get crusty over time, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Ooh, I feel like it's blending nice. I'm not gonna hold you. It's kind of subtle, but I'm a fan. I like it. Next. Okay, they sent me this for free because I think I spent a certain amount. But this is the Big Mood Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara, which is exciting. It's a fat tube. It's like pretty, pretty thick. We're down to the last two things. Okay, I got this Wow brow tinted gel just because i know that their clear one works well but i wanted to see what the tinted was about oh what the fuck oh i did not realize that this actually has little fibers in it so it'll probably not only tint your brow and set them but add a little bit of volume maybe i've actually never used any sort of brow or eyelash product that had fibers like this so i'm a little bit curious to see how it works and what makes me nervous is like are the little fibers gonna end up all over my face at some point you know so we'll see we'll see all right and last but not least i re-upped on some brushes this is the putty tools trio because I got putty products, like the blush. So I wanted to see, this is nice, it's Ziploc shut. So it comes with three brushes. The putty blush brush, which is like stippled. So thinner at the top, thicker at the base. Cute. Oh, they come with little these protectors and then we have the putty bronzer brush which to be honest i would maybe actually use this one for like it's thicker it's denser and slightly angled cute last but not least this one's a baby it's just a baby it's so short what is this putty primer applicator oh and I, yeah i got the primer so maybe i would use this one for primer for sure it's like 
dense flat top moment and then on this side is like a scooper i don't know how much you'd be using that you want to like scoop it up but i guess if you were priming your entire face that might be really useful i like how small this brush is i like s small things most of the time anyway that is it i'm so excited to play with some of these new things and i'm so so excited to gift a bunch of stuff to my friends oh my god i'm excited and yeah that is pretty much it thank you so so much for watching this video and i hope you'll stick around because i have tons of more seven monday purchases on their way so yeah. thanks for watching and i will see you in my next one bye